You got you got a new offensive coordinator in, in Mike Martz. Uh, what what are you guys expecting for next year? Everyone was thinking like maybe Lovey would go. Um, so you know, half I feel like half of Chicago is happy happy mm-hmm. Lovey stayed, but a bigger half is they wanted him to leave. Um, but hopefully Michael will come through and we'll see what he's going to do. Um, you know, I. I it's, 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 I mean, it's never one person that can bring your team to the mm-hmm. Super Bowl. It's the whole team. So you know, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah. Which which side of the fence? Dare I ask you, which side of the fence was April Rose on? Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? I just, I'm not a very, like, oh, he's you know a technical player and he's mm-hmm. very good and this and that. I go off of personalities because I'm, I'm a girl. I don't know <laughs> everything about football. But lovely, lovely. I just think he has a great heart and a great person, mm-hmm. and that doesn't win you a Super Bowl. But in my heart, I wanted him to stay, so I'm glad he stayed. <laughs> now uh, you are also a Chicago White Sox fan, and I will tell you this: your catcher, AJ Przinsky, actually used to be a neighbor of mine, and our dogs used to play together. Uh, we both, oh. we, we both have labs, so our labs used to play together. What are you expecting out of the White Sox this year? They have a great pitching staff. Mm. Um, you know, hopefully Big TV will will stay uh, healthy enough to be in the lineup. But uh, I love AJ. That's so cool. <laughs> you know what? I love going to the game. I play so- in, in Chicago. Mm. Everyone plays softball. I play okay. Softball, and I was a catcher. So Krasinski's mm. um, always kind of been my guy because we have something in common. Mm. Even though he's in the majors and I'm in <laughs> softball league in Chicago, but um, anyway, yeah, they have a great pitching mm-hmm. staff. So, so hopefully we'll go we'll go off of that. I, last year, you know, a, in the beginning of the year, I think every town is excited about their team, sure, and thinking they're going to go all the way, and then kind of mm-hmm. lose faith and get frustrated, and especially if you're a Cubs fan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, things things haven't been good since uh, Andre Dawson left. Yeah. For the Cubbies. Now, this is, I don't even have this down in front of me, but I'm just thinking about now since we're talking about Chicago. Disappointed that the Olympics didn't come to Chicago? You know what was funny is that we honestly thought we were going to get the Olympics. <laughs> As did I. Because <laughs> it was like Obama, mm-hmm. so we thought we had it, you know? Yeah. And it kind of humbled Chicago a little bit because um, we weren't even the second choice, I think. We were knocked out. No, early, yeah. So, yeah, we thought we had it. Everyone's parading around downtown in little areas, you know, thinking when they were announcing it in the freezing cold, um, and, and we didn't get it. It was, it was just kind of disappointing that we got knocked out so soon. Yeah. I, it wasn't like we were the last two that were going to be decided. It was like, oh, mm-hmm. you're, you're done. So, is it re- it's going to be in Rio this year, right? Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, I was... Yeah, and I was actually shocked when Chicago didn't make it. We have two on Area 52. We have two basketball players from the New Zealand Tall Ferns, and they were so looking forward to. They were hoping that it would be in Chicago because that's probably going to be their last trip to the Olympics, and they were hoping that it was going to be in Chicago. Um, but unfortunately, it wasn't. So that was was a little disappointing. I thought the second city was going to get it as well. So yeah, so we were disappointed. Um, you know, we were obviously worried about where they're going to build all this construction. Out. Yeah. And parking and you know how are we going to host the Olympics? Mm-hmm. Since there's no space as it is, but but yeah, we were all definitely disappointed about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, April Valentine's Day is around the corner. Going to be February 14th, just a few days away, three days or excuse me, five days away from when this interview uh, will be on. What's a nice Valentine's Day in the Second City? Oh gosh, um, you know what? I just did a little Valentine's video up. It'll be up on WGN America okay. that I wrote. <laughs> um, it's a it's a little mean, but um, a little like, mean. You gotta make reservations beforehand, not the day of. Yeah. You know that you do the day of when you do, <laughs> and and just a, an easy out. It's just just buy your girlfriend jewelry. It's very simple. You don't need to get crazy. We all like jewelry. So you're not going to go wrong with jewelry. Um, gosh, but a nice Valentine's Day in Chicago is to get out of Chicago. I guess. <laughs> Maybe go to Florida. Go to Florida, huh? Go vi- go visit Mickey Mouse in the Magic Kingdom, huh? Yeah, there you go. Uh, well, you'll be you'll be getting out of. Chicago, at least for a few days. You'll be heading down to Miami, so we wish you lots of luck with that. Yep. yep. So. Hoping, um, rooting for the Colts. Boo. 
Yeah, I know. But I watched. I wanted Favre. I was really in the Favre. Maybe he would retire. <laughs> Super Bowl, that would be a big enough, you know, victory for him. And so watching that, that last same Vikings game, I was on the edge of my seat, freaking out, sweating. Just, I, I hate when the team you're root, rooting for is just kind of the underdog, or, you know, in that game. Yeah. He, he just didn't make it. And you're just like, come on. And then you're up, you know, just for a couple minutes, and then you're down. And you're up for a couple minutes, and you're freaking out. So, so just because of that, I was like, so... N- not into the Saints winning, um, but I think it'd be great for New Orleans, obviously, for their economy um, for that. April, if, you, if you've learned nothing, Brett Favre is never going to retire. <laughs> okay? He's never going to retire. I love his commercial. Is that for Spears or something? Yes. Or? Yeah, I, I can't make up my mind. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's, 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 he's He's always, and and that's the thing, you know, once he does retire, I myself will probably be like 90 when he retires. He'll probably be like 210, but he'll still have a career in advertising. Yes, yeah, I see. There you go. He he did something good for himself. Kind of, you know, not that Tiger Woods did something good for himself. (laughs) He is infamous now. Oh, Tiger Woods. I mean... Let me tell you about let me tell you about Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods lives in the same neighborhood across the street from me, and those you got EJ Przinsky and Tiger Woods. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. and Johnny Damon and Dwight Howard too. Let me just let me just do a few more little name dropping here. Yeah. Uh, but those those media trucks had to go. It was a circus like you would not believe. Oh my gosh! I was so. we. I'm a I'm a golfer, um, <laughs> which there's not too many of them in Chicago, but we. Um, I we I was definitely curious about that. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, it's golf. So yeah. You don't hear any scandals in golf because it just doesn't. You know, it just doesn't air. It's just not. Nobody cares if it's mm-hmm. you know if there's a little something going on. But but I think this was good for for golf a little bit to get it more in the more in the mainstream. Sure, too. sure, absolutely. You know, good good bad or otherwise, Tiger pretty much is golf, so it's uh, definitely draws attention to it. April dear, it has been a pleasure. Uh, AprilRoseOnline.com is where you can find her, and we are absolutely thrilled to have had you here in Area 52, and we hope that you will come back and join us sometime. And uh, actually, we have to do this in person sometime uh, of course in the dead of winter when it's freezing in Chicago exactly so I either yeah, I either have to come to Chicago when it's warmer of course or you have to come down to beautiful sunny central Florida yeah that sounds good to me thanks for having me alright n- no problem uh, April and you have a blast at the Super Bowl okay thank you alright